I love Full House, but there's a horror episode of Full House you've probably never seen. If you ever seen Full House, you know they've done never done many holiday theme episodes, in particular Halloween. There's a reason for that, though I don't know what it is. What I do know is that I found the tape in the street one day while I was bicycling the school without pants on. I actually had shorts. At first, I thought it said Fat Horse, but when I picked the VHS tape up, it clearly said Full Haas. And there was a picture of an angry German man on the cover. Spooky. Terrified, I picked up the tape and put it in my satchel fanny pack next to my peanut butter and jelly sandwich and travel and travel pack of African hairstyling gel. I immediately decided not to go to school and instead went to Walmart and bought a VHS play, tape player. The manager was very sinister and made angry faces from across the room. He kept trying to swipe the tape for me before I punched punched him in the, in the head. Give me that little rag, give me that you little ragamuffin, he snarled with angry eyebrows and a barbershop quartet beard. I ran out of the shop stealing the VHS tape before I threw $40 on the counter. There was something evil about this tape. <laughs> when I got home, I was shocked to find that the lock to my front door had been jimmied open. I myself was experiencing jimmy legs as a feeling of intense trepidation passed over me. Nothing could predict what would happen next. Bob Saget, who played Danny Tanner, was sitting was standing in my living area. He looked really angry. What he said next really horrified and insulted me. Give me that tape, you little midget with the jerry curl. He started to advance towards me, and I ran like a football player into the kitchen, throwing Kool-Aid and pretzel sticks all over the floor. Why don't you clean them up? I scream, knowing that Danny Tanner was a clean freak. I'm not Danny Tanner, he said. I'm Bob Saget. He punched me square in the balls and grabbed the tape before bringing it over to the VHS player that he hooked up while I was running away. Fuck logic. He was smiling at me, kind of like how a man smiles at his pizza before he's about to devour it whole. <laughs> I think, think something evil about this tape. Okay. Let's watch the tape. He signaled over me to sit on his lap, and I did. But I actually felt sexually uncomfortable and tried to get up, but he grabbed me. I squeezed his nipple and got up and sat two spaces over and popped some popcorn so there would be some space between the pop I mean between us with the popcorn. I said more like Bob beep sixth letter word that rhymes with maggot before he, he laughed and put his hand on my knee. The tape didn't start out as normal. Instead the words full horse were on screen and it and it just stayed there for a whole minute as a horse slowly began to fade in, into view. Bob Saget said, Do you want some hay? And he began to open his mouth and chew some hay that was in his pocket. The entire cast was horses! DJ, Stephanie, and even baby Kate was a horse. The Dave Coulier, who played Joey, was the only character who was, wasn't a horse. He was angry because one of the horses had eaten a shish kebab dinner. There was something evil about this tape. Bob Saget kept trying to touch me inappropriately, and I didn't like that. The horses didn't say anything. They just stood there. But the audience was laughing ra rather loudly at the horses as, th as though they'd been injected with murderous penicillin. I, started, I was starting to think that there was something evil about this tape. All, the, all of the horses began to put their hooves on each other's back and did a conga line into the kitchen. The words, Is your throat, horse, appeared. And then there was just a sound of someone screaming what, for what seemed like two hours. Bob Saget pulled off his pants, revealing a 13-inch horse prosthetics that he'd been surgically grafted onto his body. He chased me around the living room for two hours, throwing lamps and furniture at me before I finally took the godforsaken tape and smashed it. It started to scream because it was alive. Blood began to drip out of the tape, and a human eye emerged from the middle. It caught on fire, and bats flew out of the holes of the sides of the tape. I tried calling 911, but my phone was covered in jam because my peanut butter sandwich I mentioned earlier had melted into the buttons. What's the matter? Bob Saget said. In a jam? <laughs> then he smiled for what seemed like 60 seconds before I just left the apartment. Bob Saget was getting into a Ferrari filled with sexy horses. Now if you ever tell anybody about this, he said, I will fucking kill you. I looked at the tape. There was something evil about it. It was then I realized that the that this whole thing was a deep metaphor for the four horsemen of the apocalypse. 
just as I realized I broke the tape apart. It screamed violently, and I got first-degree burns all over my hands as the evil entered my body inside the tape. There was some delicious candy. I ate it, and it turns out that the candy was poisonous. There was something evil about this tape. I have posted this on the internet, but by the time you read it, I will be dead. What you should know is the last thing that Bob Saget said to me, which is that on the show's uh, 26th anniversary, the apocalypse will happen. September 26, 2020. Everyone will turn into a horse, and chaos will reign supreme. <coughs> Wait for it!